Christian Krychek. A great ball, he tries to chip it over. Kenji. And he was caught, they're asking for a penalty. Not sure if that warrants a penalty, but another great chance. Not a super ball played through from Christian Krychek. He's looked completely different in the second half, Christian Krychek. Hazard, he did get the chance away, he got caught after. Just tried to lift it over and on rushing Kenji. Just got to keep their heads about them here. I'm right. I'm right. Takayama is having a goal. Christian Krychek seems upset. They've even got Shadan riled up. He's usually cool as a cucumber. And the Hools having their own little debate about that. Kazuma pleading his case. And he's talked his way into the book, I think, Kazuma. And coolest man in the stadium, no Alam Shah. Takeyamo. Confirmation there of that yellow card for him. Wisely walking away, Kenji still down. It's all happening here, late on at Jurungi Stadium. That jelly as well, getting booked in that little fracas. Well, it really has come to life here this game. Is Kenji still down? Tandung Paga had a super chance to take the lead from a corner. That one came off the crossbar. Maximovic then had a one-on-one -on -one chance. He was put through by Christian Krychek. Then it just Krychek releasing Hazwan who tried to lift it over Kenji. Did well to get a touch on it. Christian Krychek. He's holding the ball via, still checking if this one's gonna be a penalty or not. There's definitely contact on Kenji. He doesn't look like he'll be able to continue either. As we take another look at it, definitely contact, but how's what he did? Get the chance off first. Tough one for the refs. Fasha about to come on for Tanjung Paga. They are already being called into action once, helping Haugang United to have their goal stand. And it might be in their favor again. They could have a penalty. What a second half this has been. How going United? 
really come out a different team as Clarence Liao is going to be summoned for an on-field review. The plot thickens here at Jurong East Stadium. Decision will be with Clarence Liao. Kenji who really does looks worse for wear. To make matters worse, he might have conceded a penalty as well. Clarence Leo are going to take a look at it. And in all this, Tanjung Paga will be making a substitution. Kenji done after that. Pasha going to be on. First bit of action might be to face a penalty. And here's another look at it. Oof. Definitely did catch him. It was a wild lunge from Kenji, who's hurt himself in the process as well. Pofashai <laughs> <laughs> Skandal is waiting to come on as well. This can't be helping him. Oh, yeah. The Haogang staff as well waiting. Robert Eziako there. Gabriel Quick giving his version of the incident. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're Haogang, you'll be happy to wait. If it does go in your favor, Gabriel Quack and Christian Krychek who've been really special in the second half to pull Haugang United back into it. Stadion Paga United players looking on. And we see the Tanjung Paga United guys Clapping there, I think it might be no penalty. Confirmation, I think. No penalty as Fasha comes on. Not having to face a penalty, he'll be a very happy chappy. Well, the debate continues, referee explaining himself. The drama continues here. Not sure what the Haugang players are protesting at now. Kebro Quack is leading the inquest here. Taufik Dana trying to calm them down. Okay, 
Marco having a real go at the fourth official. They need to keep their heads here. There'll still be plenty of time to play in this game as well. Hagan, they've got to put themselves back in the game. 